We invite you to come into our life. Pozývame ťa, aby si prišiel do našich životov. From you we came. Prišli sme z teba. For you we are. Iba vďaka tebe sme. We long to be one with you. Tužíme byť s tebou jedno. Help us to see what separates us from you. Pomôž nám odstrániť to, čo nás oddeluje od teba. And up recognizing what separates us from you, help us to come out of that to you. Pomôž nám odísť z toho, čo nás od teba oddeluje a prísť k tebe. With your help, may we be able to come and be perfect as you want us to be perfect. Iba s tvojou pomocou môžeme prísť k dokonalosti a byť taký dokonalý, akým by nás ty chceš mať. Mother Mary, pray for us. Pana Mária, oroduj za nás. All the angels and saints, pray for us. Všetci anjeli a svety, orodujte za nás. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Modlíme sa z kále Ježíša Krista, nášho Pána. Amen. Môžete si sa vás. These talks are very important to understand. Because it shows how far we are pagan or Christian. And therefore, there are many unchristian way of thinking in our life. We must distinguish them and reject them. The, in the, we are living in a secular society. And here we accept many non-Christian values. And we make them part of our life. And they are a block for our coming closer to Christ and living Christian life. As for we need to know what are the unchristian pagan thinking that we have. Now, God from all eternity loved each one of us. That is why he created the world and finally created the first man and the woman. And God was very close to them. They loved God. They loved God. And they obeyed what God said. And that was the situation they were very close to God. But something happened. Like the fallen angels in heaven disobeyed God. They tempted Adam and Eve. And they also disobeyed God. And therefore, they went away from God's presence. The same thing happens every day in our life. When we disobey God's word in our life, we go away from God. What did the uh, first parents do? What was their mistake? They, instead of obeying what God said, they did what they wanted. They followed their selfishness. And they followed their feelings and not what is, what is the real thought. And therefore we find they were thrown away from the paradise. 
And then without a God they began to live. A začali žiť bez Boha. To live without God is the meaning of being a pagan. A život bez Boha je pohanstvo. So from their thro- throwing out from the paradise till Abraham came people were living in that pagan state. Ľudia žili v tomto stave pohanstva od vyhnania z raja až do času Abrahama. And then God called Abraham and revealed that he is the one who created the world. And if he obeys what God says and lives accordingly, then God will bless him. That is also the promise made to each one of us. To je rovnaký prístup, aký dáva Boh každému z nás. If you obey what God says, which is for our good, keď počúvate to, čo ho vám Boh hovorí, a je to pre naše dobro, then we'll be blessed. Potom budeme požehnaní. Then we'll be living by faith. Budeme žiť vo vieru. Not merely through our feelings. Nie iba našimi pocitmi. Not merely with our thinking. Nie našim zmýšľaním. But what God says. Ale tým, čo praví Boh. Because God is... To, God is good. He is loving. And he is all knowing. And therefore, what he says is for our good. And therefore, also, the God is our creator. He will not do anything against our good. Therefore, I must believe that and obey what God said uh, as Abraham followed. And if you want to be saved by the Lord, we need to live by faith. A chceme byť Bohom spasení, musíme žiť vo viere. Today many are living according to their own rational way of thinking or emotional way of thinking. Nemôžeme nasledovať svoje myšlienky alebo svoje pocity. We must go beyond that to what God says. Musíme sa na to povzniesť a počúvať to, čo nám hovorí Boh. And that's why God blessed Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and his sons. Práve preto Boh požehnal Abrahama, Izáka a Jakuba a ich synov. The same blessing God wants to give to each one of us. Rovnaké požehnanie príde aj na nás. Are we ready to live like them by faith? Sme pripravení a tak ako oni žiť vo viere? So you must check whether we have got real faith to obey what God says out of love for God. Musíme mať veľkú lásku Bohu, aby sme to dokázali nasledovať. Now we know after that they were taken to Egypt uh, uh, when Joseph was the governor the, the, the minister there. Vieme, že potom um, prišli do Egypta, keď tam Jozef vládol. And thereafter they became slaves, uh, slaves, they became slaves. A stali sa otrokmi. And they also saw the pagan practices of Egypt. Takisto videli pohanské praktiky egyptianov. Because of the persecution They cried out to the Lord to save them. Remember, when we are got suffering in our life, we cry out to the Lord. We often think our sufferings are very bad. But when we are helpless, there is nobody to help us, only God is there to help us. And therefore God sent Moses. A vtedy Boh poslal Mojžiša. And he brought the big number of people to Mount Sinai. A poslal ho na horu Sinai. And there God revealed himself to Moses. A vtedy Boh zjavil Mojžišovi. Now, and then he gave the Ten Commandments. A dal mu, zjavil sa mu a dal mu desať Božích prikázaní. Now, these Ten Commandments are The ways of living which God wants is chosen people live. Týchto 10 prikázaní je to, čo pre nás Boh vybral. So, it is opposite of what the pagans live. Je to v protiklade s tým, čo praví pohanstvo. And therefore, we must understand what are the ways of the living of the pagans and what is the living of the chosen people. Preto musíme rozlíšiť, čo, aké sú spôsoby života v pohanstve a v kresťanstve. 
and therefore we find this uh, shown in Exodus chapter 20. Toto nachádzame v knihe Exodus 20. kapitole. Uh, 1 to 17. Uh, and also in Deuteronomy chapter 5. And these are the basic signs for the believer. If you keep this, then we are God's people. If you are not living this, then you are living like the pagans. And then we must also ask ourselves, in what way am I living here today? For example, in Deuteronomy, in the Exodus 20, now we find in verse 2, 2 and 3. A treťom čítame. Ja som pán, tvoj boh, ktorý ťa vyviedol z egyptskej krajiny, z domu otroctva. Nebudeš mať iných bohov okrem mňa. So, in the pagan society, there used to be many gods. V pohanskej kultúre mali mnoho bohov. Uh, who are those gods? Kto sú títo bohovia? One of them is, I mean, some of them are the fallen angels who were thrown away from heaven. So, now these are the powers of nature like sun, moon and stars. <coughs> and uh, they also worship the rivers, mountains, uh, trees and so on. They also worshipped some human beings. Now, God's people cannot do that. God's people must worship the God who created the world. So now God is revealing himself that he is the one who created the world. Therefore, am I ready to give up all other gods that pagans worship? Or am I going back to worship those gods the pagans worship? Today, for example, we have got a lot of, among our Christians, a lot of occult practices. Napríklad aj medzi kresťanmi je mnoho ľudí, ktorí robia obudné praktiky. Now what is happening there? Čo sa deje tam? We are leaving the true God and we are going after the false gods. Opúšťame ozajsného Boha a vraciame sa falošným Bohom. Often the fallen angels. Často padlým anielom. And they want that we be trapped so that we may not follow God's ways in our life. Oni chcú, aby sme boli ako chytení, ako pasci, aby sme obudili Boha. And they, they will show us, uh, the evil one showed you, that disobey God is very good for us. A zlý ukázal Eve, že neposluchnúť Boha je veľmi dobré pre nás. And then, th- thus they will tempt us. Budú nás pokúšať. For example, if you are sick, they will say, come to this healer, and he will heal you. Napríklad, ak sme chorí, že chodte k tomuto liečiteľovi, on vám pomôže. If you do not know that it is not coming from God, they will say, yes, I want to be healed and I will go there. A keďže vieme, že ak si myslíme, že to nepochádza od Boha, tak tam pôjdeme, a, pretože chceme byť uzdravení. And therefore, for us, healing is more important, there is, there is no faith. A keďže je pre nás o, dôležitejšie uzdravenie, nie je tam viera. Because the, Those types of healing are coming from the power of evil. Or also, there are people who say that the, the, energy, the cosmic energy is God uh, uh, and uh, uh, not the true God who we worship. And we go into a kind of pantheism. And they, were, they want that we go away from the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit and go uh, to any other thing. And they were, we cannot also they worship the gods of the pagans. Uh, 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 so this is the first commandment. 
A toto je prvé prikázanie. And tomorrow we'll be speaking more about this. Zajtra si o tomto povieme viac. Can God also say in verse 4 here? Yeah? A v štvrtom verši v štvrtom verši nám Boh hovorí Neurobiš si modlu ani nejakú podobu toho, čo je hore na nebi, dolu na zemi alebo vo vode pod zemou. Verse, verse v piatom verši Nebudeš sa im kláňať ani ich ustievať, lebo ja pán, tvoj Boh, som žiadny výbor ktorý trestce neprávosti otcov na deťoch do 3. a 4. pokolenia u tých, čo ma nenávidia. In order to take away the true worship to God, the, the devil wants that we make statues or idols and we worship them. Diabol chce, aby sme odišli od Boha, aby sme si vytvárali soky a aby sme ich chválili. And therefore, in the pagan society, they make statues v pohanskej kultúre si vytvárajú sochy božikov and they call on a particular god of theirs da, uh, volajú ich uh, rôznymi menami and they believe that that god comes into that statue a veria, že ten god zostupí do tejto sochy and then worship that statue a chváli tento sochu by giving bloody sacrifice like a human or a animal, uh, animals robia krvavé obety obetujú buď zvieratá dokonca ľudí or giving food and so on dávajú im jedlo They are worshiping them. Now, we cannot do that. The pagans do that, we cannot do that. And if eat of those offerings, then we become partaker of this particular God. Now God, God also says, these powers may be in the sky, on the earth, or under the earth. Boh hovorí, že tieto sily môžu byť na nebi, na zemi alebo dolu pod vodou. The, because when the fallen angels came down, some stuck in the sky, some on the earth, some under the earth. Uh, pretože keď anieli padli, tak niektorí z nich zostali vo vzduchu, niektorí na zemi, niektorí pod zemou. And the, we cannot worship any of these things. Nič z tohto nemôžeme zveľavovať. But if you do that, then the curse will come and it will go not only to us but also to the next generation. And therefore, not only we suffer, our children and grandchildren and their children also might suffer. Therefore, I must not be a cause for bringing suffering and curse to our family or to the next generation. Therefore, the most important commandment is the first commandment. The second commandment is something closer to that. In the pagan society, if they did not get from their God what they wanted, they used to curse that God. And you Christ, you chosen people cannot do that. Because our God is a holy God. He is a loving God. All wise God. And but he can do only good. And but we cannot curse that God. Like the pagans do. And the third commandment says that there must be a day in a week for only for God. Because we are God's people. God wants to speak to us. And we his children want to speak to our God. A my ako jeho deti sa s ním máme rozprávať. There, there must be a day in a week that is called Sabbath. Preto počas týždňa musí byť jeden deň, ktorý voláme Šabat. So on Sabbath today, we spend a time to hear God's word. Je to deň, kedy počúvame Božie slovo. In the New Testament, we also have got the Eucharist. V Novom zákone máme aj Eucharistiu. The in memory of what God did for us to save us. For example, in the year 33 AD, April 3rd, 
Jesus died for the sins of mankind. Ježíš zomrel za, za hriešníkov. Ježíš zomrel v apríl 33. Ježíš zomrel v roku 33 rokov, 3. apríl 33. And we got that incident, we had to bring that incident into, into our life. A toto si musíme preniesť aj do svojich životov. How much God loved me uh, to say uh, by sending his own son. Musíme si uvedomiť, ako nás Boh veľmi miluje, že poslal svojho syna. If he would not come, I would be fit for eternal damnation. Ak by neprišiel, tak by som bol odsudený na večné zatratenie. So God's great love is shown by sending his son to, to die on our behalf on the cross. Božia láska sa zjavuje a Boží syn zomiera za nás na kríži. And we remember that we are thank God for that. Musíme si to uvedomiť a musíme byť za to Bohu vďační. And the same God wants to give his own body and blood to us as our spiritual food. Ten istý Boh nám chce dávať duchovné ovocie. This is a kind of this is a union with our God. Um, na znak uh, jednoty s našim Bohom. And therefore, we must desire to go to churches, church on that day. A preto sa musíme rozhodnúť a venovať Bohu ten deň. For example, we find in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Uh, Vidíte Hebrejom chapter 10, 10. kapitole, verse 25. Verš 25. Neopúšťajme naše zhromaždenia, ako to majú niektorí vo zvyku, ale sa povzbudzujme, a to tým viac, čím viac badáte, že sa blíži ten deň. So, we must go to the, uh, to the, on Sunday for the mass and hear God's word. Nedelu musíme ísť na Amšu a počúvať Božie slovo. And because our eternal life is depending on living on on living God's word. So these three commandments are most important. They are showing our relation to God. And Jesus uh, quotes the, the Old Testament, the Deuteronomy and says, Jesus quotes the book of Deuteronomy and says, uh, Ježiš quotes, quotes from the... Ježiš používa knihu Deuteronomium a nám hovorí Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Milujte Boha celou svojou myslou, celým svojim srdcom. So, because I came from Him, I must give myself totality. Pretože pochádzam z Neho, toto všetko musím dať. Only then I can experience God. Jedine vtedy môžem zažiť Boha. Our life's only meaning is to experience God. Jediným zmyslom nášho života je zažiť Boha. And for I must give first place to God. Preto Bohu musím dať prvé miesto. And that's why Jesus also says uh, in Matthew 6:33. Uh, Matúšovi 6:33. Of kapitola 6. Verse 33. A verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be granted to you. So, bring God's rule into our life. That's most important. And when we live, live that, we become like God. Then, then God will bless us with many things. So, these first three commandments are most important. Preto sú tieto tri prikázania najdôležitejšie. And then, from fourth to, to ten commandments are dealing with our relationship with other people. Štvrté až desiate prikázanie nám nás usmerňujú, ako žiť s našim okolím. The fourth commandment says, you must say, honor your father and your mother. Štvrté prikázanie nám hovorí, že si máme ctiť uh, matku a otca. So, now here we must understand what was the attitude of the pagan society. Tu musíme pochopiť, aký bol postoj v pohanskej spoločnosti. In the pagan society, a man paid money to the father of the girl and bought her and made her his wife. V pohanskej spoločnosti muž zaplatil svojmu budúcemu svokrovi, aby mu dali nevestu. So she's like a cattle or any other animal, she had no right. 
Táto žena nemala žiadne práva, bola ako keby nejaké zviera. She, she what he says. Musela poslúchať, čo jej hovorili. He could punish her, beat her, kill her. Mohli ju potrestať, zbiť, dokonca zabiť. Therefore he did not respect her. Nerespektoval ju. She was only a pressure machine for him. Bola iba nástrojom nejakej rozkoše pre ňu. And children were also treated in the same way. A takisto sa správali aj k deťom. Children were the property of the father. Deti boli vlastníctvom otca. If they did not obey what the father said, father could beat them or kill them. Pokiaľ ne, neposluchli, otec ich mohol zbiť alebo aj zabiť. Or if the father could also offer the child as a sacrifice to their god. Alebo Boh mohol použiť svoje dieťa a obetovať ho Božikom. The child had no right. Deti nemali žiadne práva. This is a pagan view of thinking. Toto je pohanský spôsob zmýšľania. Even today some people think in that way that wife and children are their property. A dnes si mnoho ľudí myslí, že deti sú ich vlastníctvom. But, the, but it's God who created the man and the woman. Ale je to Boh, ktorý stvoril muža a ženu. It's the God who joined the man and woman, uh, also joined the man and woman in the marriage. Boh uh, sa pripája k mužovi a žene v manželstvu. For example, in the book of Tobit, we hear, Napríklad, je to biaž, chapter 6, verse 18, 6, verse 18, Sarah was set apart before the foundation of the world for Tobias. Sarah bola predúčená ešte pred stvorením sveta Tobiasovi. So, in the, in the same way, in every marriage, the God has planned who will be marrying whom. V každom manželstve Boh vopred plánoval, kto bude vydatý a on ženatý za koho. And the way, it's part of God's plan. Je to súčasťou Božieho plánu. God made the man and woman. Boh stvoril muža a ženu. God also had a plan, who will be the partner of whom. A takisto v jeho pláne bolo aj kto bude jeho životný partner. And therefore we must find out that partner through prayer and also through search. Preto tohto partnera musíme nájsť skrze modlitbu a hľadanie. And therefore... After the marriage, the husband and wife are equal. Before God, they are equal. But for the practical running of the uh, uh, daily life, there need to be a leader, the husband is a leader. And the husband is that leader. A týmto lídrom je muž. And the word, there must be certain obedience from the side of the wife, they to the husband. Žena má poslúchať svojho manžela. But the husband has love his wife, the wife has respect the husband. Avšak muž, muž musí milovať svojho manželku a manželka musí milovať manžela. And they both are supposed to love one another. Musia sa navzájom milovať. Out of that love, child is born. A z tejto lásky sa narodí dieťa. But do you see that it is God who joined the husband and wife? Vidíme, že Boh sa pripája k manželovi a manželke. It is God who gives the child. A je to Boh, ktorý dáva dieťa. Therefore, parents and children belong to God. Preto títo rodičia patria Bohu. And therefore, they must give the first place to God in their family. A v rodine musíme dávať prvé miesto Bohu. And therefore, also they must respect and love one another. Manželia sa musia rešpektovať a navzájom milovať. And remember that the children are the gift of God. A nezabudajte, že deti sú Božím darom. And the duty of the parents is to bring up the children as God's children. A ich povinnosťou je vychovávať deti ako Božie deti. And there is the duty of the parents to give faith to the children. Je povinnosťou rodičov dávať deťom vieru. Today we might, you may not give faith to the children, but you may give food and education. A takisto ako je ich povinnosťou dávať im potravu alebo vzdelanie. But in their case, they are not fulfilling their duty to bring them, bring them as God's children. A je ich povinnosťou vychovávať z nich Božie deti. And as a result, many children go astray today. A ak to rodičia nerobia, tak mnoho týchto detí sa vzdialuje od Boha. On that we will be speaking on Wednesday. O tomto si povieme v stredu. So, so the fourth commandment is very important that we must say, Yeah, there's an equality between man and woman. Čtvrté prikázanie je dôležité. Muž a žena sú si rovnocenní. They must love one another. Musia sa navzájom milovať. Yeah, respect one another. Rešpektovať sa. And their life together is till a death of one partner. 
their life together is till the death of one partner. And their duty also is to, to accept the children which their God is giving. So, yeah, this is the plan of God. And for all that is done against that, we Christians cannot accept. For example, the abortion. Contraception. And all these things are blocking the way God wants to give the children. Všetky tieto cesty znemožňujú uh, spôsob, aký nám Boh chce dávať deti. For example, the Catherine of Siena was the 25th child of the, uh, of the 26, 26 children. Uh, napríklad Katarína Sienská bola z 25. z 26 detí. If they, they had planned the abortion and <coughs> the family planning, then she would not have been born. Uh, keby si ju rodičia neplánovali, tak by sa nenarodila. So, we need the God to allow holy people into the world so that they may go to heaven. We have to cooperate with God. And the fifth commandment says, you shall not kill. In the pagan society, they are afraid of one another. V pohanskej spoločnosti sa ľudia báli jeden druhého. And therefore they used to always carry some weapon with them. A preto stále za sebou niesli nejakú zbraň. Either a sword or a big knife with which they can attack the, the enemy. Buď to bol nejaký meč alebo veľký môž, ktorý mohli napadnúť nepriateľa. When they thought the other one is his enemy or is a danger for him, that person they kills the other. Keď si mysleli, že nejaký človek je nepriateľ alebo je nebezpečenstvom pre nich, tak ho zabili. Soon after my ordination, I was uh, working in a tribal in a tribal, uh, in a tribal parish. They used to always carry big sword with them. Pracoval som uh, v takej kmeňovej spoločnosti a tam ľudia za sebou naozaj stále nosili zbraň. When I asked them, why do you carry this big sword? Keď som sa ich spýtal, prečo nesiete ten veľký meč? That if an enemy comes to attack me, I want to kill him by cutting his neck. Keď ku mne príde nepriateľ, tak sa obránim a odkotnem mu hlavu. That is why the God said to Moses, you shall not kill. Preto Boh hovorí Mojžišovi, nezabiješ. Before that time, this is my enemy. If anybody is my enemy, if I think anybody is my enemy, I kill that person. A keď si myslím, že človek je môj nepriateľ, zabijem ho. But, but Jesus said in the New Testament Ale v Novom zákone Ježiš hovorí Matthew 5, 21 to 23 uh, Matúšovi kapitola 25 No, chapter 5 uh, kapitola 5 21 to 23 verše 21 a 23 Počuli ste, že otcom bolo povedané, nezabiješ. Kto by teda zabil, pôjde pred súd. No ja vám hovorím, pred súd pôjde každý, kto sa na svojho brata hnevá. Kto svojmu bratovi povie, hlupák, pôjde pred veľhradu. A kto mu povie, ty Boha pustý blázon, pôjde do pekelného ohňa. So here, Jesus says, not only not to kill, but you not even get angry. Ježiš nám hovorí, nielen nezabiješ, ale nenahneváš sa. If you want really be true Christians, you must see our anger is not right. Ak, ak si naozaj s tým kresťanom, musíš si uvedomiť, že hnev nie je správny. Because Cain started with anger and killed his brother. Pretože Cain začal s hnevom a skončilo to zabitím brata. So also we should not get angry at others. Preto sa nemôžeme hnevať na druhý. Even if there is a situation, we should forgive them. Pray for them. Do good to them. Love them. So that we come back to the state of love. And that is our Christian responsibility. Only then I can be a Christian, otherwise I am not a Christian. 
He will take revenge on the other. If you want to give me bitterness in my heart, and then I am not really a Christian. But that we shall, we shall be seeing later. Now, the sixth commandment says, you shall not commit adultery. Now, every human being, because he or she is created by God, they belong... <coughs> They belong to God. God is holy. And it is duty that we remain holy. And we must keep the holiness also in our body. God's understanding is this, that man and woman are created later for marriage. So that they learn to give their selfishness up to the, uh, and then love the partner. And then through that the children are born. To bring them up, the parents have to give up their selfishness. So that like God, the parents become gradually totally selfless. And this is the plan of God. And before the marriage, we cannot have any sexual relation with anybody. For example, today we are having sexual relationship before the marriage with the different people. <coughs> This is the pagan way which they practice before the coming of Christ. And therefore, we must respect ourselves and also we must respect other people. And for example, the other partner, uh, the, if I am going to sin with a person, then that person may be going to be partner of somebody else in marriage. And I am sinning against God, Against the, uh, I'm sinning against the person with whom I'm sinning. And against the, uh, I'm sinning against the other person who, who is going to be the partner of this uh, uh, person after the marriage. Therefore, we are destroying the order of God. And therefore, as a Christian, as a chosen people, we cannot do that. We must respect everyone as precious and belonging to God. I cannot misuse any other person. Also, we hear in Isaiah 54.5, 54.5 Your creator is your husband. So, so, yeah. so God is your husband. At the, at the end, the God wants that we all be his spouses in heaven. That if you are destined to be the spouse of God, can I give my body to somebody else? God is a God of order. And therefore, I cannot bring a disorder into our life by having a relationship with somebody else. There is a sin against my creator whose spouse I am called to be. And I must respect my body, my mind and my spirit. And therefore Jesus said in Matthew 5.28 
he who looks at a woman with the lust has already committed adultery. Boh hovorí, že ak sa človek na ženu pozrie v žiadosti, bo už s ňou zhrešil vo svojom srdci. That is to else. Pretože že tá žena patrí niekomu inému. I cannot look at that person as a, uh, uh, partner for sex without a marriage. A nemôžem na niekoho pozerať ako na svojho sexuálneho partnera bez manželstva. Even to look at that way is the beginning of the sin. Dokonca už len to, že, že na to pomyslí, pozriem sa, tak už aj to je začiatok hriechu. A Boh nechce, aby sa to dialo. Now we also can see in your past life how we were living. Takisto aj vo svojej minulosti sme zhrešili. Are we teaching this truth to our children? A učíme to aj svoje deti. And if you do not teach them, they go according to the secular way and they are going away from God. A keď nebudeme pripadať k viere, budú And then the seventh the commandment says that you must not steal things belong to other people. This whole world belongs to God. And he has given this to different people. A rozdal rôznym ľuďom. And the things belong to the different people, I have no right to take or steal. Veci patria rôznym ľuďom a ja preto nemám právo kradnúť. God respects people and also God gives things to people. Boh ľudí rešpektuje a dáva im veci. The I have no right to take away from other people things that belong to them. Nemám žiadne právo brať ľuďom veci, ktoré im patria. If I need I can ask them. Pokiaľ potrebujem, opýtam sa ich. If they give freely their will, with the full will, <coughs> we can accept them. Ak mi to dobrovoľne dajú, môžeme to prijať, ak, ak mi dajú niečo zo svojej vôľa. But we have no right to steal. Avšak nemáme právo kradnúť. If you steal anything, you must also return back. Ak niečo ukradneme, <coughs> If I do not return the things that I have stolen, then the, the sin remains with me. <coughs> Because only when I give back the thing to the owner, my sin is forgiven. There is a saying that the thing which is stolen cries out to the owner. <laughs> So until the thing reaches the owner, if you are taking the thing, we are responsible for it. Therefore, even though I made a confession, until I give that thing back, my sins are not forgiven. Aj keď som sa vyspovedal, ale tú vec som nevrátil, tak moje hriechy ešte nie sú odpustené. And therefore you must give it back either directly Musíme to vrátiť buď priamo or give it indirectly as a gift for them as a gift, as a gift as a money. Musíme dať uh, nepriamo ako darček. So without, without their knowledge we must restitute the things give back the things which we have stolen. In the pagan society, they, the powerful man took by force the things belong to other people. And therefore, the poor person had no defense or security. A preto tam nebola žiadna bezpečnosť. Whereas in God's community, it is not that way. V Božnom spoločenstve sa takto nemôžeme správať. God respects people and the things that is given to them. Boh rešpektuje ľudí aj veci, ktoré im dáva. If we are not respecting that, then we are not with God. Ak to nerešpektujeme, nie sme s Bohom. We have no right to take things that are belonging to other people. A nemáme právo brať druhým veci, no, ľuďom veci. In the communist days, people used to take from the factories and so on things because you are paid much less in the communist days. So you, you felt it was an occult, hidden compensation that you took. By taking, you are, you are trying to get a little more money because you are not paid properly. A mnohokrát si ľudia brali, brali napríklad z továrny, pretože neboli dostatočne platení. But now you cannot do that. 
If we take things belong to somebody else, it's a sin and it's against God and against my brother and sister. And the seventh commandment says, you shall not make false testimony. Seventh command, eighth command, eighth commandment. You shall not make false testimony or false witness. So, in the pagan society, to get what they want is most important. To, to get that, they can say lies or cheat or do anything else. In, if, if there is a court case, or we have to testify before the, uh, the, the judges, we can say lies to, to, to get what I want. A takisto aj krivo svedčiť alebo používať lži, klamstva, tak na to, aby sme niečo dostali. For example, to protect our, our uh, relatives. Napríklad aj, aby sme chránili našich príbuzných. For our friends. Alebo našich priateľov. They called others to say lies to testify before others. A ak, ak ich pozývame, aby krivo svedčili proti ostatných. That is a pagan way. Tak to je tiež bohanský spôsob. As a Christian, we cannot do that. A my ako kresťania to nemôžeme robiť. Christ said, I am the truth. Ježiš povedal, ja som pravda. But I cannot say in my conscience, I cannot say anything which is against my conscience. Nemôžem povedať nič, čo je v rozpore s mojim svedomím. And therefore, whatever has happened, I must testify not more or less. A teda čokoľvek sa stane, musím svedčiť pravdivo. Teraz, in the pagan society, Things were different. To save a relative, to save a friend, yeah, I say a, a false testimony. If Jesus is the truth, and he has given us conscience, what conscience says we must say. Tak to, čo vám povie svedomie, musíte povedať. And we cannot cover that conscience and speak lies. A nemôž- nemôžeme nepočúvať svoje svedomie a klamať. Lie uh, is coming from the evil one. Klamstvo pochádza od zlého. So when I say lies, I become like the evil one. Keď, keď klamem, um, počúvam zlého. For example, we find in, um, in John chapter 8, verse 44, v Janovi, John 8, verse 44. A verš 44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 8:44. 
2 So every thought that we have got in our mind must be brought to the feet of Christ. So the Christ is truth that I must speak the truth. If I said some lies, I must repent and change that. We are called to live like God. Like Jesus. And therefore I must be up, I must see what my conscience says. Not to gain something what I want. No. We often do wrong things to gain what we want. Yes, that is the pagan way. Only Judaism and Christianity speak about the right goal and the right means. And therefore, if you give up this principle of God, then we are becoming like the pagans. <coughs> also, in, in a, a, a 9 and 10 commandments, now God says, our thought, our desires must be controlled. Anything that belongs to others, I must not even desire. If we would like to get, we would like to be like the other person. Or try to have wealth like the other person. Or the house like the other person. A car like the other person. Partner like the other person. Children like the other person. No, we are not supposed to desire that. Because each person is unique. God loves you and me as a unique person. God knows what is best for us. And we must accept what God gives. And not desire to be like somebody else. Or try to have things that belong to other people. That shows that I am not ready to accept the gift that God has given to me. And I would like to be like somebody else. And that is not what the way God wants. I must accept myself. I must be glad with what God has given to me. And not desire to be like anybody else. And when we do this, there is a tremendous joy in our heart. For example, when we, God, when we keep God's commandments, there is divine peace coming into our life. And there will be joy in our life. So, when we keep the commandments, we show that we are loving God. We are loving God. I, I, I accept myself. I love and accept other people. And this is very important. The, the Bible calls it righteousness. So, now, righteousness means giving the right place to God, to others, and to me. And when I do that, there is peace in our life. And when there is peace in our heart, there is a divine joy. And when these three are there, we are in the kingdom of God. We are in the kingdom of God. We find in Romans 14:17. 
performance 14, 1470. So, then we are in the kingdom of God. Where God is, there we are. When I do not keep the commandments, there is no righteousness of God. That shows there is no love in our heart. That also leads to lack of peace and lack of joy in our life. And then always I must check there is peace, love and joy in my heart. Radosť, pokoj okay. a láska. láska. These three are important. Tieto tri sú dôležité. If this go away, we are going away from God's kingdom. Ak toto od, od nás odchádza, to znamená, že my odchádzame od Boha. Now many people might feel that there is no peace in their heart. Mnoho ľudí pociťuje, že v srdci, v srdci im chýba pokoj. Why? Prečo? We broke the commandments. Sme so we must recognize that we have broken the commandment. Musíme, uh, že sme repent for that. Robiť Renounce that we have been living. Uh, sa spôsobu, aký, aký sme žili. And when I do not, when I break God's commandments, the, the evil one comes into our life. A keď nedodržiavam Božie prikázania, vtedy do nášho života prichádza zlý. Because like the evil one, we disobeyed God's word. Pretože tak ako on, aj my sme nepočúvali Božie slovo. Then the evil one has got a legal right to come into my life. Preto zlý má náležité právo prichádza do nášho života. And then I become a slave to the evil one. A, pre, a vtedy sa stávam otrokom zla. If the evil one comes into my life, he will kill and destroy as Jesus said. A keď prichádza, do nášho života prichádza zlý, tak bude pustošiť a ničiť, tak ako hovorí Ježiš. And therefore, dear friends, let us live the Ten Commandments. A preto, drahí priatelia, žijeme podľa Božích prikázaní. Today, we are living in a secular society. Dnes žijeme v sekulárnej spoločnosti. Many are not living the Ten Commandments. A mnohokrát dnes žijeme podľa desiatých prikázaní. Jesus asked his disciples when others were going away from Jesus. Uh, učeníkom, Do you also want to go away from me? Aj, aj we must give an answer to the Lord. A my musíme, uh, Bohu Do I want to behave like the pagans by giving up the commandments? Or do I want to be like Christ in my life? It's a decision made in my heart. Decision made in my will. And when I make that, I make Christ the Lord of my life. If I do not do that, then I am not giving Christ as the creator and savior the first place in my life. Now, after hearing this first talk, you look at your own life. Where you failed. And where, why there is no peace in your heart and joy in your heart. Whether you have broken the, the Ten Commandments. There's a time for you to come back to the Lord. You are also free. Say, no, I want to live my, uh, according to my old ways. I don't want to change. It's up to you. <coughs> Christian, God doesn't force anybody. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, Verse, verse 19, the God says, I place before you life and death. I place before you blessing and curse. But choose life and blessing. That we get when we obey God's word. Whereas when I disobey, when I disobey God's word, curse and death comes. In today's uh, today, the scientific uh, science also says many of our sicknesses are coming because of the wrong way of thinking or sinful way of thinking. 
Mnoho vedcov dnes hovorí, že choroby prichádzajú z nesprávneho spôsobu zmýšľania. A keď naozaj chceme zmeniť svoj život, musíme zmeniť svoje zlé zmýšľanie. Many people would like to get healed. Mnoho ľudí chce byť uzdravený. But healing can come only when my wrong thinking and actions are changed and in the God's way of thinking and acting. Avšak uzdravenie prichádza iba, ak zmeníme zmýšľanie a, a začneme zmýšľať spôsobom, akým chce Boh. That, ak toto uh, nebudete prijímať, tak neočak, nečakáte, že príde nejaké uzdravenie. Pretože 80% chorób je, je z hriešného spôsobu zmýšľania. Am I ready to acknowledge my mistake, change and come back to the Lord? Som pripravený uznať svoje chyby, zmeniť ich a prísť naspäť za Pánom. And when we change in the new way, God will bring healing to our life. A tento nový spôsob priniesie uzdravenie. And also I would like to say one thing, it is not I who am healing anybody. Uh, nie som to ja, to, to uzdravuje niekoho. When your negative wrong uh, thinking is removed, a toto negatívne zlé zmyšľanie odstraníme. When you, you bring into your mind the godly way of thinking, a do, do svojej mysle priniesieme Boží spôsob zmyšľania, healing begins. Vtedy začína uzdravenie. Therefore you must bring the change in your mind. Preto zmenu musíte priniesť do svojej mysle. Therefore it is going from unbelief to belief. Musíme prejsť z neviery k viere. And if you do not want to change from unbelief to faith, then no healing is possible. Ak neurobíte túto zmenu od neviery k viere, tak tedy žiadne uzdravenie nepríde. So it is the duty of each one to see where we have failed in our past life. A je povinnosťou každého z vás pozrieť sa, kde ste slíhali o minulosti. Let's bring God's order into our life. Musíme priniesť Božie slovo do našich životov. And then healing begins. A vtedy začína uzdravenie. Yeah, let's pray. Modlíme sa. Lord, thank you for telling us how we are called to live as Christians. So that we may be like you, Jesus. And we may listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit in our heart. So that we may glorify God in our life. Lord, help us to come back with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our strength to you. Pane, pomôž nám, aby sme celou svojou myslou, celým svojim srdcom a celou svojou silou utekali k Tebe. We make this prayer through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, dear friends, I can tell you.